Hello students. Today we will be, we'll be learning about Python fundamentals. So in this chapter, we shall be talking about all the basic elements that a Python program can contain. You will be learning about Python's basic characters like character set, tokens, expressions. This all we will be learning. That means before learning how to program Python, we have to learn some keywords, punctuators, and all let's start so here comes the first python character sets characters means what whatever we can write that is a to z this is a characters and character sets python is a set of valid characters that a language can recognize that means if i say something to python it will not understand i have to make him understand so i will type something so that is that should be valid right that is a to z it can be of letters a to z uppercase or lowercase and it can be digits from 0 to 9 and special symbols like star slash brackets equal to exclamation mark then white spaces these all include python character set i hope you have understood now let's talk about tokens Tokens, you can say that it is the smallest individual unit in a program is known as token. That means you can write this as a definition if it comes in your exam. That is keywords, identifiers, literals, operators, punctuators. We'll be talking about this all in details. So keywords, what are keywords? Keywords are some special meaning, special Keywords are the words that convey special meaning to the language compiler or interpreter. This means if you type false, this will give a special meaning to the compiler or interpreter. It will understand easily that it has some meaning. It is a keyword, assert, assert, the none, true, and as, if, for, elif. These all are keywords. These all have a special meaning. For the compiler or interpreter to understand next we'll be learning about identifiers identifiers are the fundamental building blocks of a program and are used as general terminology for the name given to the different parts of the program if you can see from the example see my file and here it has written date 0 uh, 9777 this is a valid identifier because it has some rules before writing any identifier we have to see some rules the identifier can be of see upper and lower case letters and different are different all characters are significant the digits 0 to 9 can be a part of identifier except the first character that means what the identifier cannot begin with the digit means 0 to 9 anything cannot be in the first position then it will be invalid see here 29 it has written that is it is beginning with a digit that is it is invalid so you have to aware of the rules what are the rules these are the rules go through these rules and you can easily write the identifiers there are some valid identifiers and these are some invalid identifiers here see break break is a keyword we have seen here in keywords break is there yes break is there in a keyword so it cannot be a identifier that means this is also a rule that identifier should be unique it cannot be a keyword that is why it is written reverse keyword i guess you have understood what is identifiers now we'll be talking about literals See, literals often referred to as constant values are data items that have a fixed value. See, Python allows several kinds of literals that is string literals, numerical literals, boolean literals, special literals. This all we will be talking about string literals. String literals means what? You know, in Python, strings means whatever is written inside quotation mark, either it is single or double. You can be said as string. That is example, asta in a single quotation or you can write in double quotation Rizwan this all gives a meaning like string so the text enclosed in quotes form a string 
literals in python for example a a b c a b c you have seen here i've already told you all all are string literals in python next we'll be talking about operators so operators what are operators operators are token that trigger some computation where applied to a variable there are so many operators okay say for example unary operators binary operators bitwise operator so unary operator unary operators are those operators that require one operand to operate upon following are some unary operators that is plus unary operator minus unary operator unary minus bitwise not so binary operators binary operators are those operators that require two operands to operate upon following are some examples that is arithmetic so addition that is plus subtraction multiplication will require two operands that is if you want to add something there should be one plus one or first value with second value you can add that is why it is binary operator next bitwise operator that is and bitwise exclusive or zor then shift operator left shift or right shift then identity operator rational operators that is less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to equal to or not equal to these are rational operators logical operators what is logical operators and or or you can say logical operators then assignment operators that is equal to assign quotient plus equal to that is assign sum these are assignment operator that means it is assigning something say for example a equals to in bracket you can write one two three that means you have assigned a equals to one two three this is an example of assignment operator then we have membership operator in or not in remember this operators because same thing same operators will be repeated in later chapters so this is very important you have to remember all the operators membership or operators are in and not in whether variable sequence and whether variable not in sequence so next we'll talk about punctuators what are punctuators punctuators are symbols that are used in programming languages to organize programming sentence structure and indicate the rhythm and emphasize on expression statements and program structure okay most common punctuators of python programming language are quotation start then hash slash bracket third bracket curly bracket at the rate these all are punctuators you have to learn this punctuator because it will be used in upcoming chapters the uses of these punctuators will be discussed when the need arises along with the normal discussions so right now we have to just see what are punctuators punctuator these all symbols you can say are punctuators next we'll be talking about bare bone of a python program bare bone means what what a python program what is the skeleton means this program is based in what structure by giving this example we can discuss see this program shows a program component definition function c say for example comments begin with hash means after hash whatever you type in the same line that will be comment in python like any other languages from the start start of the program these all are comments means whatever is started with hash 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 these all are comments mean this will is not be included in the program when it will run okay this is for only understanding purpose of the viewer the what code has been written this program shows the program components so here we have started print so this is a see function def cu this is a function so this is a function that was and print time to say goodbye main program code follows now these are 
the main program code a equal to 15 b equal to a minus 10 print a plus 3 if if that is what see colon means it is a block if b greater than 5 free if i have to check that this means b where b b equals to a minus 10 what is a 15 15 15 minus 10 that is 5 if b greater than 5 then print value of a was more than 15 initially then else see if else statement has been used we will be discussing everything in the later chapter this will just this will be giving you a rough idea about the program structure an expression is any legal combination of symbols that re represent a value an expression represents something which python evaluates and which then proceeds a value that is some example of expressions are 15 2.9 expression that a value only means an expression is any legal combination of symbols that represent a value these all are expression see a plus 5 3 plus 5 divided by 4 complex expression these all are examples of expression next that is very important thing is function if you have to type 100 lines of code and same thing say five lines are repeated after every 15 lines or say for example 10 times it is repeated in 200 lines of code five time lines is repeated so you can make a function of that five line of code and you can call that function again and again for reusing next we will be talking about variables and assignment what is a variable very important you can write the notes from here named levels whose value can be used and processed during a program run are called variables say for example the variable are called symbolic variable because these are name levels for instance the following statement creates a variable namely marks of numeric type 5 that means marks equal to 70 creating a variable how to create recall the statement we just use now say for example marks equal to 70 so we have assigned 70 in marks that is a variable as you can see that we just assign the value of numeric type to a identifier name and by python created the variable of the python similar to the type of the value assigned okay Another, another example you can say that student equal to jacob and age equal to 16 python will internally create levels referring to these values as shown below say, student equal to jacob age equal to 16 so we'll be talking about dynamic typing okay in python as you have learned say, typing dynamic typing is very important a variable pointing to a value of a certain type can be made to point to a value object of different type this is called dynamic say for example x is equal to 10 here we have given an in the variable x 10 and 10 is of which type this is integer type right so x we have written as integer type another here again what we have written x equal to 10 that is x is a integer type then print x it will automatically print 10 that is x is equal to 10 so it will print 10 again x is equal to hello world and inside quotation mark we have written that means it is a string so it will print x again if you give then it will print hello world so this is dynamic typing same value same variable that is x but we are giving different values one is integer another is string so this is dynamic typing let us see an example of a program to understand it better program to obtain three numbers and print their sum so this program will obtain three numbers and then it will add up so uh, see it has begin the program with a hash that means it is a comment line it will not be printed in the output or it will not be useful in the compiler because it is a hash it is for just to input three numbers and print the their sum so num1 we have assigned num1 int that is integer type input means it will input 
enter the number 1 then we will give the input first input we will give any number say for example we will enter 7 or 3 or any number you can enter then same num2 number will input then third number will be giving input then again this is sum sum equal to num1 plus num2 plus num3 that means num1 whatever will give the input here is num2 whatever in the num2 and third same then print here print the three numbers are this is just a string after that it will give the three numbers are num1 whatever you will type 1 num2 and num3 and print sum is and next again first first it will give the output of the three numbers whatever it will be printing whatever we have given and second it will give the output of the addition of num1 plus num2 plus num3 the sum is sum so sum whatever what is sum it will call this here sum equal to num1 plus num2 plus num3 so let's see what is the output here 7 first number second number third number and the addition of these three numbers is 23 we'll do this in the practical okay So after running the program so it says what enter the number one that means see first input enter number one so i have to type say for example i can choose five six any number i want to give the best because it is integer type i cannot type if i give a and it will give me error why error because it is not integer type so i have to give an integer type so let's run the program again and give a valid input that is see enter the number say for example i have entered 5 then enter then enter second number second number 8 say for example then third number third number i will choose 2 then enter then the three numbers are 5 8 and 2 the three whatever you will type here the three numbers are 5 8 and 2 and the sum is 15 that is total of the sum if you want to edit here say for example the three numbers you if you want to write anything say for example what is your name it will print the same thing and the sum is you can edit this also and if you file save okay now if you run the program see whatever you will example 6 is the first input number second is 7 third is 8 see what is your in place of earlier what it came three numbers are because this is the string we have given earlier but now what is your name so this is it is it will not affect anything in the program whatever you want to type in the string anything in the you can type it will give you the same thing what is your name 6 7 8 see understood i guess now we have understood a little bit of python will be understanding more about in details in the next chapter so thanks for watching subscribe and to comment your feedbacks what you want to know more and how you are liking it okay thanks bye